Good afternoon everybody, David Marks here with Operation Barbecue Relief. Uh, I'm out here grilling with Blue Rhino and uh, today we're doing some grilling tips. I got a brand new grill here and uh, it's, it's that spring season. It's time for everybody to get ready to get outside and, and I'm setting up a new grill and I want to show you what you need to do when you're uh, setting up a new grill to make sure your grill's ready to go for the whole season. First thing, uh, I got to hook up my Blue Rhino tank over here. Uh, really important that we uh, take the uh, connection, make sure it's nice and tight. You want to start off with your uh, tank turned to the off position. I've got that nice and tight and snug on there. And now I'm going to uh, go ahead and open up the valve and let the gas start to flow. Um, so I got this brand new grill. We're going to go ahead and get this thing fired up. Uh, you know, in the manufacturing of these grills, there's paraffin wax, there's machinery oil, potentially even some leftover uh, uh, metal shrapnels and stuff. So we're gonna burn this thing off real good. I'm gonna get it up to about 600 degrees. It'll probably take 15 minutes to do that. And uh, we're gonna go through the steps that we need to do. A couple things you wanna get together is some soapy water. You wanna get some kind of uh, grilling spray or canola oil. The grilling spray actually has a little higher uh, burn uh, temperature so I like to use a grilling spray as opposed to canola oil but either one are just fine and uh, that's going to be real important at the end of the seasoning of this uh, and, and just some paper towels uh, we're going to get this thing nice and hot we're going to start to wipe down the outside uh, get the soapy water just to get those oils off and we want to do that before it starts getting too hot so I'm literally just going to take some soapy water start wiping down the grill uh, on the outside we're not going to do that on the inside because uh, we're going to really burn that off nice and easy. So I'm just going to wipe down this grill. Uh, again, really important to get those uh, oils and wax and machinery stuff off these grills uh, if you want to make sure that your family's safe and ready to go for the season. So uh, I'm just going to continue to wipe this down and uh, we'll get back here in a few minutes uh, when we get this thing hot. All right, so our, our grill's gotten up to 600 degrees and while it was getting uh, warmed up, I actually went and got uh, some uh, gloves that I could use, some grill gloves, some welding gloves, whatever you need. Um, we're going to uh, uh, go ahead and, and open this uh, grill up. Uh, at this point, uh, at 600 degrees, 500 degrees, a lot of those oils and uh, mechanical stuff is uh, really burnt off. So at this point, we're just gonna uh, start to worry about our own care. Now, I generally don't keep the uh, top rack in my grills when I use them, but I am going to cure it as part of, of what we're doing today. Uh, really important if I do decide to use it in the future, uh, it's, cure, it, it's, it's been cured and ready to go. So at this point, I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and spray some of this uh, high heat uh, cooking oil on it. And I'm gonna get all the sides and the racks uh, done. The inside, I'm gonna get the sides uh, as well. So really making sure I get the sides the uh, enamel top's not quite as important, but the uh, cast aluminum and the cast iron is going to be real important. So I'm going to go ahead, again, I got this grilling gloves on, and I don't want to overdo it here, but I definitely do want to uh, make sure that I have uh, enough to cover. So I'm really going to take a second here and get the uh, grate really sprayed on the front. I'm also going to flip it over and get the grate done on the back side. Now obviously uh, you get a little flare ups. Now with this going, I'm gonna get some of these sides in the back as well and the bottom. Uh, you do wanna be careful. You also have these radial grates. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit with as well. So again, I've got this one done pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in and I'm gonna go ahead and pop the other one out. Again, you're not gonna wanna do this without having the proper gloves on, the proper gloves on really important. Get that underside done, sides of the grill. So at this point I've got the grill done. I'm going to finish off by getting the undersides of this upper tray as well. All right, so now I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and put that back on. Because the next part that's really important here is that as, as the metal starts to cool down, it's going to suck these oils in and then it's going to uh, start to cool down and really incorporate and cure uh, that oil inside of those uh, 
cells of, of the metal that have been expanded. So uh, we're gonna make sure we get that nice and uh, ready to roll. Get the rack back on, which it is. And uh, I'm gonna let it run for about another two or three minutes. Then I'm gonna turn it off and let it just sit down and, and start to uh, shrink in. I'm also gonna wipe off any overspray at this point. Uh, really important just to uh, spray those oils. Uh, I didn't necessarily intend to get the oil on the uh, other parts of the grill, but it's not gonna hurt it. Uh, it's definitely gonna help uh, get the uh, shine and, and uh, all the other impurities off. We've already obviously uh, have uh, wiped all the stuff off with soapy water, so at this point, uh, we're just shining it up, buffing it up, and uh, we're looking good. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, turn this grill down. We're gonna let these uh, oils that we've sprayed in here start to uh, really work uh, as that cool down and they, uh, the cells in, in the, in the molecules inside of the uh, metal start to shrink back down. Uh, those oils are gonna bond themselves to it. Uh, you're going to start to see uh, more of a patina as opposed to uh, that standard uh, color that came right out of the box. So things are going to start to get some goldenness to it, some browns to it, and uh, we'll see what it's starting to look like. So again, um, we are definitely looking like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, let this grill really start to do its thing, and let these uh, oils suck, suck themselves back in. Now when we're done, uh, we will come back in and do another wipe off so anything that did not get brought back into those molecules we're going to uh, wipe down wipe off and uh, we're going to have uh, man just a great grill in summer we're going to be ready to go and uh, we're going to have a grill ready to do this now i do recommend we do this uh, once a month with our grill just to keep maintenance and, and keep it up to uh, snuff really important that uh, you do take care of your products and they'll take care of you all right, so we turned off the grill. It's cooled down here. We're down to about 150 degrees. Uh, now is a great time just to come over here and kind of wipe, uh, wipe this grill down from any excess. So I'm gonna take a dry towel, just kind of a dry paper towel, and just kind of wipe it down, get any of this excess off. Uh, again, there's not a whole lot. It's uh, really kind of uh, starting to patina itself. Uh, this top shelf as well. Um, things look pretty good and I think uh, Man, I think I can't get can't wait to get ready to start cooking. It's going to be an awesome uh, spring and summer.